StatQuest makes me feel so happy. So very, 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 very happy. StatQuest. Hello, I'm Josh Starmer and welcome to StatQuest. Today we're going to be talking about the difference between probability and likelihood. These are two closely related concepts that are very easy to get confused. Even I mix them up from time to time. So enough of this jibber jabber. Let's get down to it. For me, the easiest way to understand the difference between probability and likelihood is to just see it in pictures. So let's start by looking at probability with respect to a normal distribution, keeping in mind that this concept applies to all continuous distributions. In this case, let's imagine that this is a distribution of mouse weights. It has a mean of 32 grams and a standard deviation of 2.5. On the low end, we have 24 grams. And on the high end, we have 40 grams. The probability that we will weigh a randomly selected mouse between 32 and 34 grams is the area under the curve between 32 and 34 grams. In this case, the area under the curve equals 0.29 meaning there's a 29% chance a randomly selected mouse will weigh between 32 and 34 grams. Mathematically, we say this with the following notation. The probability of weighing a mouse between 32 and 34 grams, given the mean of the distribution is 32 and the standard deviation is 2.5. And all this equals 0.29. This is the part of the equation we change if we are interested in different mouse weights. For example, if we wanted to know the probability of a mouse weighing more than 34 grams, we would change the bit on the left side to reflect this. The right side, which defines the shape and location of the distribution, stays the same. So when we talk about probabilities, we are talking about a distribution that's described by the right side of this equation and the area under the curve that is described on the left side. Using the same distribution, we can change the left side to get a new probability. BAM! Now that we have probability worked out, let's talk about likelihood. To talk about likelihood, you assume that you have already weighed your mouse, or mice, if you have weighed more than one. So here's our mouse. It weighs 34 grams. The likelihood of weighing a 34 gram mouse is this point on the curve, and that value is 0.12. Mathematically, we say this with the following notation. The likelihood of a distribution with mean equals 32 and the standard deviation equals 2.5 given we weighed a 34 gram mouse and all that equals 0.12. If we shifted the distribution over so that the mean was 34 grams, the new likelihood would be 0.21. So with likelihoods, the measurements on the right side are fixed, and we modify the shape and location of the distribution with the left side. Double bam! In summary, probabilities are the areas under a fixed distribution, and mathematically we have the probability of data given a distribution. Likelihoods are the y-axis values for fixed data points with distributions that can be moved. Mathematically, this is written as the likelihood of a distribution given data. If you want to see the actual equations, check out the stat quest that derives the maximum likelihood estimator for the exponential distribution. Hooray! We've made it to the end of another exciting stat quest. If you like this StatQuest and want to see more of them, please subscribe. And if you want to support StatQuest, well, consider buying one or two of my original songs. The link to my Bandcamp page is down below in the comments. Alright, until next time, quest on!